you know me, an OG, pick only what's OP, and nobody owe me, no thing but a trophy and a fat check, when mad zeros like tempo, put my enemies in boxes like bento. Hey everyone, Speed Tempo back with another reaction, and I am once again reacting to Alpha Rad. This time it's just, it's, yeah, bye bye. Try it again. When mad zeros like tempo. Hey everyone, Speed Temple here, and I'm back with another reaction. And today I'm reacting again to Jacob Alpharad. And this time it's going to be his video. I attempted a two person Nuzlocke with my rifle. And I can already tell from yeah, this, this opening, <laughs> this opening uh, frame here that um, I'm pretty sure his rival is going to be Pokemon Challenges, aka Jan or Jan S. <laughs> As uh, they called him when Jaden and Alpharad did their two player Nuzlocke, also known as a Soul Link. So, I'm guessing this is gonna be. <laughs> yeah, Jacob and Pokemon Challenges working together on a Soul Link. So, this should be interesting. If you don't know what Pokemon Challenges is, then. He is. like. I want to say the Simon Cowell of Pokemon Nuzlocke. He's basically like the like epitomous judge of Pokemon challenges or Pokemon Nuzlocke specifically. So this should be a fun ride. And also, he he puts himself through a lot of very very difficult and challenging Nuzlocke challenges. So, I can only imagine what, how this is going to go. So, without further ado, make sure everything's proper. Alright, let's get started. In uh, three, two, one, go. We beat Emerald Kaizo! This guy might be the best Pokemon Nuzlocker of all time, and then there's... Probably. Quick the <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? This classic clip. Nuzlocker from throwing to Sabrina to conquering Emerald Rogue on my first try, which did not even impress him. So wow. to showcase my growth, we set out to attempt a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Soul Scarlet and Violet Soul Link. This is a hardcore Nuzlocke. Oh, it's gonna be like a two players. You'd probably like expect this to be a 2D Pokemon game. Right? game. <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Well, um, yeah, I happen to throw away the first run, so let's just talk about the. Okay, it, I guess it makes sense that it is Scarlet and Violet because. Um, Yono was in the thumbnail. <laughs> what am I talking about? Since these games don't have traditional routes, we use terror raids for encounters and only allow oh. terror type across both teams. So after okay. running around a bit in single digit frame rates, we are already <laughs> starting to form two pretty solid teams. Especially this ground terror. Wait, 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 Belly Bolt, I think is what it's called. And Jan has based. <laughs> uh Damn, I've got cat's name. I, I got one in my personal playthrough of it. I have to get I know there's I know they end evol evolution is Masquerada. But anyway, Weed Cat, <laughs> uh Squavit. And Swablu. Especially this ground terra Eevee on my side. But more on that later. And if you're curious about my brand new stream layout, well, you dress for the job you want, right? Even if it involves a misdemeanor for petty theft. Both Scarlet and Violet are really just boss rushes, and the first gym was a cakewalk for our precious little Fue Coco as he blazed through Katie's entire party. I mean, it Obviously. makes sense because this is literally the first gym that should never be a challenge to anyone. Yet here, is uh... struggling. So bad that he had yeah, to I mean, the he did get, he did get the grass starter. I guess a bug gym, so he still had to sacrifice a Pokemon. Uh, oh, to beat, again, the first gym. <laughs> well, at least one of us are pulling our weight. So when it came around to the grass gym, my plan has not changed. Oh, okay, Let's see, so uh -huh. basically the same. So now they have, there's a uh, cricket tune and. 
Cloister. Wei Coco will burn this entire city to the ground. It's not even Wei Coco anymore. Unfortunately, Yon's using Sprigatito, so he's going to run the this one yet again. Luckily, his shoulder has... Well, I touched <laughs> Scarlet. That. So while he's busy planning out the optimal team, <laughs> I was out here trusting some kind of blind fate. All right, and now we're just press the same button three times and see what happens. <laughs> All right, pet a little doesn't matter anymore. That thing has been exterminated. Mala dies. All right, let's see how the pseudo wudo goes. So yeah, things got a little scary against pseudo wudo. Yeah. I had to press the button an entire fourth time, <laughs> but the hard carry carries on. Now that the level cap went up, we got to start exploring some stronger raids for some even stronger. So remember when I first time chatter lost my starter to the bug gym? Pokemon, in your opinion. Although I chose uh, first time chat. So, uh, Quaxley. what's your answer? Damn. Uh, Lilligans. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> the sexiest Pokemon, according to Yawn. <laughs> are you, are you going to answer as well, or are you going to... No, I don't find Pokemon attractive. I wouldn't answer that question. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, debated. Debate it. I think Pokemon are attractive. So, uh... <laughs> Anyways, this video is brought to you by Era, a completely new and unique high I still want to try this. Do you personally have trouble drinking boring normal water? Well, Sometimes. Well, Arup solves that problem by harnessing the power of scent-based taste. Era bottles use scented pods that, when activated by the bottle straw, transport water and air through the pod and into your mouth. And that's where the science behind Arup's scent-based taste kicks in. It's essentially smelling with your mouth. I know it sounds weird, but <laughs> it isn't. Arup can give flavored hydration without sugars or sweeteners while keeping all of the flavor. These I gotta say, I love Jacob's music choices. Like peach, wildberry, I love for the ad, he usually does the, uh, the dating song from in Europe. Even though Undertale. So this is a uh, water. I got to change of pace. Of all cherry things, cola. Ooh, cherry. that sounds good. And it helps me stay hydrated while I like cherries. Here for, you know, uh, an unreasonable amount of hours at a time. Hey, what was that? What game was that? Fancy with it, it like you can even use sparkling. My Hero Academia. I have the steel bottle, which can keep water cold for up to 14 hours, and it's made out of 14 hours stainless steel. Right now, it only comes in black and silver steel, but if you want to personalize your air up, you can get the Triton bottle that is available in many more colors. Also, mm. no need to tip the bottle. Just activate the pod by pulling it gently and drinking normally through the straw for the flavored water. To get your own air up, use the link in my description nice. and use code ALPHA to get 10% off your entire do that. order as well. But after all, well, like I said last time, I saw an air up <laughs> commercial. Gold might have somehow ruined our first attempt. Back mm. then, I didn't have a single ground type and just fold it to our electric assault. But... Once again, it was time to carry. Okay. We got a full team now. Still got the Toad School. I mean, Toad, toad School. <laughs> Still under, haven't evolved it. Uh, now we got... Vaporeon. Grimer. Still Cricketoon. And... Dang, Shelter. Well, not Shelter, Cloister. Swablu and... Mouse hold, or is that? No, it's tandem mouse. There's not. There's no kids yet. And cack turn and. Oh man, I'm failing my Pokemon master knowledge. Car Carcoal, I think it's what it's called. Because of a perfectly molded ground type Vaporeon. Obviously, Ooh. this water type Pokemon would suddenly be great against electricity, but my plan was even more brilliant than that. Normally, Which is? terrestrializing into a ground type would still leave me weak to moves like Water Gun, but this uh -huh. Vaporeon had Water, water Absorb. Absorb. Nice. A Smart. And impenetrable wall. So <laughs> to see this plan through, I used Crocolore to take down her Watch Roll, bait in the Belly Bolt, switch Vaporeon into Water Gun, and set up multiple invincible Calm Minds, and I just swept from there. <laughs> Yon didn't really have anything nearly as cool and awesome and badass <laughs> and cool as I did for this battle, but... He just decided to use top level instinct and abuse Steel Terror Cloister and Assault Vest Floor Gato. Which, sure, I guess it gets the job done. I mean, one of us definitely struggled more than the other, and it really <laughs> makes you think who the probably best Nuzlocker in the world is. I mean, after all, only one of us has been crowned as the Nuzlocke King. Yeah. At least we both got our third gym badge and a few encounters to round out the teams. Still gonna lure that over him, isn't he? accidentally caught a lot of Pokemon that were great for Kofu's water gym. But before we started the battle, I just wanted to take a look around and soak up the scenery. Oh my god, that's what the heck? 
What the fuck is happening? Oh, it's it's still going, huh? It's not done. What oh, is oh that? God, it's only worse. Oh, shit. Why? It's like he, it's like he has a kaleidoscope filter on his game. Oh. So uh. anyway, I taught Raps to get sunny day and got fixed on the party for the first time uh. to run. It might look a little silly for me. Okay, what's we what's this looking like? Oh, the start is vault. Still got to Toad's to 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 school. Uh, yeah. Uh, Raps a kid. Like a caps a kid and uh, Ralts. Silicobra. No, not Silicobra. Whatever it's the pre wall for performance. Magic Carp. And uh, Toxel. <laughs> and. Finneon. to bring my fire starter to this fight, but the Man, I'm struggling with these names. to do in a soul link to drag your partner across the finish line because he definitely needs his Florigato. From water absorbed Vaporeon to Terra Water Silicobra to just a Cacnea. <laughs> I had a lot of options here, but instead, I opened with Scovillain. It may be neutral against water, but this is exactly what I needed to get set up in this fight. Kofu led with Veluza, so good thing we walled the Psyche moves out with a dark terrestrialization, mm. which allowed us to set up a sunny day for free. In other words, it's time to abuse the chlorophyll ability <laughs> and just mash the solar beam button until the fight is over. These battles have been a breeze on my side so far. Yeah. So how about yawns? I did just get crit, unfortunately. Well, I guess I Please don't lose the starter. You're better than that, Yawn. Ah, boring. Whatever. He beat Kofu, we got the fourth gym badge, and then it was time for the main event. That's right. It's Larry. For Larry. Luckily, the level cap is now high enough to evolve nearly all of our Pokemon, and especially perfect timing for Skeleton. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to keep pausing to look at these teams. I just have to... Just got to see what I'm kind of going into. So their starters are fully evolved now. Uh-huh. So they have Cacturn and still Carcoal. I think that's Silicobra. <clears throat> I think. Uh, Gyarados now. Uh, Skull Villain, Gardevoir, Cupchu, and Lilligant. Slender to become part ghost as my new plan for this gym was to really just click Torch Song and hope for the best. Ah, <laughs> paralysis. Oh. Uh, whoops, no problem. I'll just switch to Cacturn, get some chip damage with Spiky Shield, and <laughs> hey, look, Hyper Drill goes through. Oh. <laughs> Oh, isn't that a funny surprise? You're not oh. dead, I, I don't think, I unless it has one, terrible defense. And then you're right. And then my terror type is dark, which doesn't matter. And, that, and I think he won't glare this turn. Is he glaring? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm still faster than him. All right, we got Solar Beam out. Mmm, didn't do I much. I not get paralyzed here. All right, what's paralyzed? Mm. No damage roll? Oh. All right, the Dunkfarts is dead. I think Finally. we bulldoze again and sack. Yeah, but I, I don't want to sack your Gyarados yeah. is my thing. I think we have to get rid of Magic Cobra. Unfortunate. I could mm. go steal Terra Yawn and swap into Skeledurge. Oh, you're faster. I'm faster and I didn't die. Oh, we hit one more, probably. Mm. All right, just need one more. Oh, two in a row. We got it. GG's. We're out. Bye. We're oh, that was brutal. Out of the woods yet, as Larry's fight was followed immediately by another oh, of course. Demona battle. I was very careful to make sure I saved Vaporeon in the Larry fight because I knew it crushes nearly everything on her team. I found myself in a bit of a scary situation at the end, not because I was fearful of wiping. No, oh. But because I had to do the slight. That's an automatic crit, crit move to too. The clutches of Nimona. but. <laughs> Um, after evolving my cup chew, before we could even start heading towards the next gym, um, my game had other plans. Uh, my, my switch, wait, um, um uh. wait, wait one second. <laughs> my game just crashed. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna assume it didn't. I think I have to do it all over again. Yeah, while well, you do that, I'm gonna redo all of this. What's the evil just crash your fucking game again? Don't evolve. Cup to when you're playing online. Worst thing I've ever done. I want to learn Ice of Crash. Okay, I don't think I got this far last time. No way. You no crashed way. when you no. learned Icicle Crash. There <laughs> is a glitch in the game that you uh. can evolve Cup to. I'm convinced. I'm gonna try something new here. I'm gonna do both fights again. I'm just gonna not learn Icicle Crash. I would just box Cup to, bro. This is like a situation where I'd like to apologize for, but I, I, what could I have done differently? <laughs> <laughs> you just saved, bro. What did you just say? I'm backing out, backing out, backing out. Saying no, saying no. Now I try to evolve it. I'm scared. That shit's cursed. Um, I have. Wait, why do I have zero rays on my map? What? What? 
wrong with this game? Uh, We're gonna try and evolve him just to, just to see what happens here. All right, we put him in the Pokédex for the very first time. Uh, would you like to learn Icicle Crash? Uh, no thanks. It's still crashed. I can't, <laughs> I can't evolve him. Will you evolve him and then just send him back? Uh, I hope it doesn't crash. Oh, I don't think I got this far. Huge. Okay, it worked. It worked. I'm saving. That is what the game. oddest. Maybe it was that. The oddest. Wait. What? Can you? What? <laughs> okay, okay. I have him now. I do have him. Okay. Oh, he's not in my Pokédex. <laughs> Why the fuck? What the fuck? So the the <laughs> it crashes just because it goes into the Pokédex? Just wrong. Also, wh Wait, what? What? So I guess what the as hell? long as I just don't open the Pokédex, we should be fine. You should be okay. It seems like the game is now permanently broken, and uh -huh. I'm just gonna have to play around that. I mean, I, thought, I knew so this game was broken, but jeez. This ever happen and catch some new Pokémon on the way from escaping purgatory. <laughs> so that is a, a bug and a half. Unfortunate events. It was time to battle Ryan. The other guy's voice sounds devoid of life. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm not projecting my voice. I'm not using my outside voice. So. All right, buddy Jacob, are you ready <laughs> to do the gym trainers? Yeah, yeah, maybe we can do that. All right, awesome, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Um, I think I'm probably gonna use Vaporeon. I'm gonna use Protect so I can block the Drifloom. And uh, I mean, Skeletor is gonna be enough to do that. So I think you just take the choice card from the Fan Torch song. Sounds like an awesome plan. Yeah, I think I got something cool too on. That's a weird game. role reversal. Fair enough. Normally, I'd be a little worried about bringing a. Okay, so. Starters finally evolved the Grimer into Muck, Sableye, and Toxapex. Finally evolved <laughs> Toad School into Toad Squirrel. So we got the Peter Griffin Squirrel. Uh, Raichu, Raichu, and uh, I know the original one is Girafferig. I think it's Ferrigraf, yeah. And the very buggy <laughs> Pear Tick, and Ghost type Pokemon into a ghost type gym, but the ability to terrestrialize and abuse moves like Torch Song made this decision a no-brainer. Every mm. single time you use this move, it boosts your special attack by one, and I spammed it a lot. So when I attempted <laughs> to take down her ace with a boosted Torch Song, uh, um, uh, something went wrong. I assumed I was faster, but I didn't want to like. That has to be like a plus four Torch Song, and it didn't. Wow. Kill. Genuinely, how did that not kill? Oh my god, he paralyzed his own Houndstone. Nice. Oh, I got paralyzed too. Damn, oh. kind of fucking in trouble. Yeah, if this Torch Song doesn't hit, I'm swapping out. Oh, Hex. Oh, I did not think about that. No, oh, Hex. Oh, let me lose my starter here. Uh oh. Oh! I condition for the Elite Four now. As the old saying goes, Oh. Starter isn't safe, nobody is. As we all yeah, I know that for, for a fact. signature ability is Punk Rock. Which boosts sound based moves. Oh. But what I didn't know, and not even Mr. Pokemon Nuzlocke over there knew, was that this ability also resists sound based moves. Oh. Moves so like, Torch Song uh, I don't know, uh, it was resisted. Song? Well, oh uh, man, that sucks. Really sleep over that one, but yeah. at least Yon can start using his Terrifier Zora just in time <laughs> for two. For the first time all run, I am struggling with team building thanks to that insane yeah, set bet. of events that cost me my Skeletor, but hey. I mean, Skeletor no carried for most of this run. Let's just catch every Pokemon we can in a symbol as perfect. Okay, so lost the starters. Now we have uh, Nimble or I think. What the? <laughs> What's the evolved form of Nimble? Something kicks. High kicks. Something like that. Uh. Venomoth, Beartick, Lilligant, Toad Scroll, Peter Griffin, <laughs> Magnazone, Phalanx, Grumpig, Zorark, Sableye, and Toxpex. Pick up a team as we can, the rival Tula. Well, Yon doesn't really have to. I guess. I mean, he has Zorark now. He's fine. And after yeah. some complicated theory crafting, we went in with some <laughs> rather unconventional picks. Low kicks will obviously be great. Low kicks. That's what it is. Type, but <laughs> I said high kicks. That, <laughs> I don't that really opposite. have anything that can damage psychic types. So funny enough, the key to this fight for me is actually going to be that stupid ass <laughs> Since we don't do the computer virus, I was able to switch him in, take a KO with this badass looking steel terror blast, and that was mm. enough to allow low kicks to kill with first impression before his Athra went speed boost stupid. Wait, does he have speed boost? No. 
Okay. Then Loki proved why it's an insanely slept on hook one and finished the battle before I even had time to think about how stupid I was for losing Skeledurge. <laughs> Uh, okay. With seven badges in hand, there's it was Grusha. Time to collect our final one from Grusha. We captured some of our last encounters in the run, and Jan was feeling confident with this fight. All right, right you, Frigoraf, uh, Camerupt, and Vengus. Vaporeon. Should I be a muck now? Still. Dunst or is that the Dunsparce? I think it's the Dunsparce. I say. I think I see two sections of the body. And Golduck, uh, Cricket, Cricketune, and <laughs> I keep wanting to say Shelter because it's called Sheltot, Cloister, uh, Doug Trio, and River Room. Fire Zangoose he just picked up. Honestly, yeah, at this point, he should be thanking me for losing Skeleturge. I mean, <laughs> is it too late to lie and say it was intentional? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to see here. Yeah, this plane is not going nearly as well. I probably should have just done rollout. Okay, I got the Omni Boost now. <laughs> I gotta stay in. You get a waste of perfectly good Omni Boost. Okay, sick. Yeah, it yep. turns out Ice type Pokemon, they got a big buff this gen. They still fucking suck. <laughs> I think the biggest buff of Ice type Pokemon is that they no longer have to be Ice type Pokemon. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, that's uh, true. The most difficult theory crafting portion of the run the calm before the storm. Preparing for the Elite Four. After entering, we will not be able to change either team at all for the final five fights. Mm -hmm. Given these diverse teams they're throwing at us, it would essentially be impossible to find something that could cover everything for both players. So before we search for our final encounters, John and I had to grind up our team in a Chansey themed genocide. <laughs> oh, wait, I found a shiny Chansey. Oh, shit. Oh, really? How does a shiny clause work in this? I guess you have to find a shiny to pair it. True. Yeah. Mm. No, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Catch it and make shiny I find it paired with it. Uh, do I have a, I have one quick ball. I'm going to try the quick ball. Oh, you wait, ran wait, from wait. it. Hey, are you going to farm Chanseys? Mm -hmm. You want to try and make a sandwich together? Let's do it. Hold on. All right, let's make a ham sandwich together. Oh, what if our hands touch? <laughs> oh, no. oh, whoops. Sorry, were you oh, going for no. those pickles? Oh, sorry. I, was, I didn't even know. Oh, sh oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh. Uh, I'll put a piece of ham over oh, here. We're making like a combined sandwich of the two. Oh, we got so much ham. So much meat between these two boys. Crazy, <laughs> yeah. Would you mind if I put my pickle near yours? <laughs> oh, no, absolutely not. Go for it. <laughs> now, oh, these right. guys are stupid. Beautiful. Okay, are we even going to get the correct boost from this? So, eventually we found our final encounters and tried our best to build the absolute strong... Okay, this is a very different team. So... Beartick, Lilligant, Camerupt, Zangoose, Vaporeon, Muck. Pretty sure it should be Muck. Toadscrewl, Squavit. No. That's the pre evolved form. Peter Griffin, <laughs> Low Kicks, Venomoth, and Dragapult, and Hariyama. Longest combined team possible. And then Interesting. entered the Elite Four. When it came to Yon's first <laughs> battle against Rika, he forgot about camera up using. I love Yon's Rika so much. Got extremely lucky with Such a great Star design. And both Pokemon went to New City. <laughs> Ruling. So he just let his Lilligan sweep everything as Yon got completely carried by a combination of Quiver Dance and Giga Drain. So when it was my turn to put on the shades, Toad Scroll did too. I swept with a similar strategy to Yon as mashing Giga Drain on Rika's helpless ground types usually warrants a win, but I made a huge play with Protect and a healing with leftovers that Yon initially deemed a waste of time. But little <laughs> did he know that I healed exactly enough to survive a huge oh. with Rika's ace. So <laughs> Who knows how to play around the crit range now? <laughs> then before I even realized I was done with the battle, Yon was already challenging Poppy and stormed through her with an unusual poison type Hariyama. There's really nothing for me to comment on this fight since it was pulled off so surgically, but Poppy was terrifying for me. The first part, however, it's pretty terrifying was easy. For Terra Seal little, Baratic for the resistance and used superpower kid. to take out Kaparaha in one hit. Then Lokix continued to pull his tiny you little say wing two hit KOing the alleged tank of bronze. Those Kaparaja. I, it was Poppy's Corviknight that always looked like a problem to me. So now it's time to pivot like the true Nuzlocke King I am. <laughs> okay, so now Corviknight comes in. And now we want to go back to 
Uh, yep. Gotcha, gotcha. You got it. Because here, it definitely brave bird me. He's starting to believe, chat. Let <laughs> him go. The pivots. He sees the matrix. <laughs> I got the camera up in front of the Corviknight and fell the steel feather demon. Both of the ground immunities are gone, which means Toad Scroll can finally ball. Two down, three to go, and Larry's team is imminently scary. Luckily, Larry part two. Plan to tear through his entire team with just one Venomoth. This thing had really? liver dance, tons of potential offense, and some black sludge to heal. Ooh. But then, Eon's quiver dances came to an abrupt halt by him forgetting that terrestrializing a poison type into a non-poison type makes black sludge oh. heal you. All of oh, a sudden, that's a, a misplay. The Pokemon Nuzlocker in the world is at risk of wiping to Larry's Flamigo. And then Yon almost used Quiver Dance against Oricoria, whose ability would allow them to also use Quiver Dance. Holy <laughs> shit, I did not know that. It's just a passive ability. It's honestly a little insane. Okay, that's fucking mm. crazy. Uh, okay, we're fucked then. <laughs> Best Nuzlocke, by the way. Oh, chat savage. I did not expect it to be me. So given this rough situation, Yon had to sacrifice his Greedent. Oh, Greedent, that's what it's called. And got a chance for Zangoose to miraculously win a speed tie. But even that wasn't enough. And now another pair of Pokemon met in Oh. This whole time, we knew that that cursed Venomoth was one black sludge turn away from dying. But Yon remembered. If he got the KO first, the black sludge turn wouldn't happen. So realizing that his Zangoose died for an entirely unnecessary death, <laughs> Venomoth finished the fight and saved both of our runs. Thankfully, wow. when it was my turn to fight Larry, I already knew of two Pokemon that could be sacrificed. <laughs> and had tons of well-thought-out switches, attacks, and strategy to clean up this fight shockingly smooth. But before we fought the final Elite Four member, Yon removed Black Sludge off Venomoth and attempted to Quiver Dance <laughs> yet again before removing Hassel's entire team from existence. Wow. Then when my team was up to challenge him, we did the exact same thing. Use normal Terra to tank a hit and then just utilize a Dragon Dance spamming Dragapult. And then we were nearly done. So with two runs worth of blood on our hands, <laughs> it was time to challenge the champion with only four Pokemon left each. So... Uh, you Probably one of the worst championship battle champion battles. To start pulling his weight. <laughs> oh, and boy did he. Gita's lead as Spathro was designed to stop setup sweepers like Lilligant, thanks to the opportunist ability that mimics stat buffs. But Yon mm. taught his Lilligant a little known move called entrainment. Overriding his oh, yeah. against useless chlorophyll ability, <laughs> which then allowed him to quiver dance till his heart's content. Right before pressing the same Smart. button again and again and again <laughs> and again. And yep. That was it. That was the champion fight. That's somehow what Yon's entire journey came down to. But now it's my turn. That, this battle could be much, but much worse if uh, run. the last Pokemon it's was the first Pokemon. Finish line two. Kill. Perfect. Love this. Well, not a whole lot worse, but this a little bit worse. Howard would use low, but this. I agree. Is where we use <clears throat> axe kick and it hits. I was scared for nothing. I'm just saying if I didn't put on the cat ears, I don't know if that would have happened. Ooh, you think how Go-Go, they're going in a very unfortunate order here. Yeah, it sees the play rough, but uh, let's just see what this Leech Life does. Oh, it just it's, kills. Oh, it just does not see yeah, how Leech Life got buffed. Yeah, and we're going to see Over how gens. weak this life can get. Oh, this thing's fast. Really, really, really. Mm. Oh my god, the low kick sweet. I can let low kick die. All right, I missed and crashed and died. Who's going to go Dragapult? Yeah, I knew it was bad. I just didn't realize it was that bad. Wait, I just realized Dragon Darts probably puts down like two Toxic Spikes, right? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I just have to hit Surf with Vaporeon once and we're good. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh. <laughs> die now. And would you look at that? Yeah. I, I don't know what could have possibly happened, but that's a yeah. GG's. We did it. And just like that. Just like that. We completed a hardcore Nuzlocke Soul Link while I played some of the best Pokemon of my entire <laughs> life. And now... I know what you might be asking. Have I finally earned your respect? No. <laughs> uh, uh, that was great. Alright, well that was... <laughs> that was Alpha Rad and Pokemon Challenges doing a two-person Nuzlocke. Hilarious as always. Uh, I, I have no words. <laughs> so I'm just going to say, 
If you like my reaction, leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe for more. I will definitely be doing a lot more Jaden and Alpharad video reactions in the near future. Also, I'm thinking about doing some more, um, or I should think about starting to do uh, one odd ones out reactions because I love uh, I love James and his videos too. So, yeah, that'll be a treat for you, for you guys. <laughs> All right, but with that, I have been Speed Tempo, and I'll see you guys next time.